through tonight when you think about your local fire department, you think of fighting fires. But what happens if an airplane catches fire on a runway? News 13's Adrian and Lawrence spent the day with the Myrtle Beach Airport Fire Department and shows us why they're not like your typical fire department. Not only do their fire trucks look a little different on the outside, but on the inside too. And with a click of a button, fighting fires looks like this. The department says a typical fire truck carries around 750 to 1,000 gallons of water. Because they don't have access to fire hydrants on the airfield for obvious reasons, their trucks can carry 3,000 gallons and release about 100 gallons per minute. They're designed to put out large fuel spill fires primarily, so they can be operated from inside the cab using their exterior turrets uh, with a single operator. Patrick O'Leary is the Myrtle Beach International Airport Fire Department Chief. He says the FAA requires all commercial airports to have some sort of fire protection on airport campuses. He says on average they do about 350 calls a year, 80% being passenger medical calls in terminals. O'Leary says it's almost like serving a small town. There's a lot of opportunities for just life to happen, things to happen, different types of incidents. So it's important for us, because we are fenced in, we are kind of tied into ourselves, to be able to handle those emergencies as they arise. O'Leary says their first truck has to be able to respond to a call within three minutes. He says if needed, they work with both Horry County Fire Rescue and Myrtle Beach Fire Department. So we have five people on a shift here. Um, which is enough for some small incidents, but if we do have a big incident, that's not going to be enough people. So we rely heavily on our partnerships with our mutual aid agencies. O'Leary says his firefighters go through the same training as Myrtle Beach or Horry County, but have to take an airport firefighting class on top of that. But it's easy to see they love what they do. I mean, we all got into this for the same reasons initially. We all wanted to get a career where we could help people and serve our community, but we also had a passion for aviation. O'Leary says so far this year, they've responded to 20 aircraft-related calls. He says usually they're on standby for planes with gear or maintenance issues before landing, but thankfully, because of pilots taking measures in air, have not had to step in. In the newsroom, Adrian Lawrence, News 13.